Hey Cloud Gamers, today I'm having a look at Hitman, which is the classic remake of the original game. It is currently free to claim on the Epic Store until August the 3rd at 3pm UTC. Starting off with the speed test here, I have GeForce Now on the left and Shadow PC on the right. This game is extremely fast loading and it's great to see that GeForce Now is also picking up these fast loading speeds. Within 30 seconds there you can see that the Shadow PC is already through the loading screens and GeForce Now is not far behind here. And Shadow PC hitting the click to play screen at 41 seconds there. With GeForce Now only just behind really at 51 seconds. So less than a minute across the board then to get into the game. As we move over into the graphics comparison. Nice. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity. Now, the GeForce Now rig kept giving me the 1080C. I did get a 2060B once or twice, but consistently I seem to get the 1080C here again. So, this is a very good matchup against Shadow PC. You can see that the colours are a little bit warmer on the GeForce Now side. Although as we go through certain sections, I'm torn between the warmth of GeForce Now and the kind of more realistic, cooler view of the Shadow PC. This is the Shadow PC boost here, so we are comparing pretty much 1080s. As we look back at the fountain, it's very difficult to tell them apart, apart from that colouring. And I think I do kind of like the slightly cooler view of the Shadow PC here. Shadow is still dipping into that 30 frames per second mark here and there. GeForce now does seem to hold a higher frames per second and we see less of that stuttering. As the target comes down the stairs here. Again, comparing side by side, the only real difference here is the colouring. Quality wise, they are both looking extremely sharp. Moving over to a bit of GeForce Now only gameplay, this is where I've got a disguise as one of the fashion models, and I'm going to do the catwalk here, as there's a lot of flashing lights and Kind of debris on the stage to really push the screen. You can see here as the crowd kind of lights up with the photography. GeForce now is looking extremely smooth, even with all this debris kind of falling on the catwalk. And the lighting on the model here is absolutely fantastic. So looking very smooth here, I didn't see really any frame drops, it would be nice to see what the actual frames were second in game. Uh, but it does feel very smooth. You can see they're moving the camera around and the panning is very smooth on GeForce now. And that was my kind of experience overall. Even running up the stairs there, still very smooth. Move over to Shadow PC doing the same run. You see straight away that the camera movements do not quite seem as fluid, and you do you see those frames per second dropping as you pan? As we come onto the catwalk, it does seem to hold that 60 frames per second plus. And again, you can see the character models being lit up. Although the model here doesn't look as clean for some reason.
but overall still looking absolutely fantastic and it does feel still quite smooth even with all this flashing photography and debris As we move off stage, we do see that kind of darker lighting again. And in the corridors, we get much higher frames per second, but the camera movements still feel a little bit more jerky for some reason. See a dip right down into the low 50s there and even 40s as we run through the corridor here. The shadow PC really does bounce around. Even with the CPU and GPU, only around the 50-60% mark. You can see it dropping into the 50s, just walking up the stairs there. As we go side by side for eliminating the second target then, you can see the difference here on some of the way that the game can end. Hitman is absolutely fantastic. Strategic assassination. There are many ways to do the same jobs, and obviously the outcome can be very different. You'll see that on GeForce Now, I end up getting chased out of here, and the way that the camera kind of finishes the ending is a little bit different, which is very clever. Whereas I managed to be a little bit more stealthy on the shallow PC side, and escape a little bit easier. As a free title, it's definitely worth picking up, especially if you've ever looked at some of the Hitman genre on PlayStation or other consoles. It's a very well adapted version, and if you have something that supports HDR mode, it does actually look absolutely fantastic in HDR as well. I'll leave you with the final assassination and escape here. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to Cloud Gaming Extreme for all of the latest across all cloud gaming platforms and I will see you next time.